Okay guys, welcome to this game analysis video. Today we're gonna go over my my very first professional game, my debut, which I made in the fifth round uh, this year against uh, Odevald at home. So this was how we lined up. You can see I'm number 11. I started on the bench for uh, this particular game. Uh, you can see our starting lineup there, as well as the other bench players. And this is our formation. We started in a 3-4-3 in a formation. Okay, so kickoff time. We are in red and Odevald is in blue. So let's go. So here is the first goal of the game. Odevald is coming down the left side to play it in. The first player miss hits the ball, but then eventually Carl Lex gets on the, the end of that ball and just taps it into the corner. And we are behind 1-0 in the 17th minute. Here is the second goal. We cleared the ball. They played forward and then a brilliant ball over the top to Carl Lex again, who comes free and scores on the first post. A good finish, goalkeeper should have had that one. Uh, but we're 2-0 behind and a red card on that as well, so not looking good for us. So here in the 69th minute, we make a triple change. Uh, Anton Halbor comes on and then Angel and me. And this is my first time uh, on the professional, professional level. Uh, so here we go, 69th minute and we are two goals behind and we are on a mission. So here's my very first touch of the ball, you can see me there, I receive it. Uh, I have a guy on my back, so I turn and try to sprint forward with the ball, use my speed. Uh, I take a bit too long of a touch, he can intercept the ball and Audible can win it. Uh, and you can see it eventually results in them getting a free kick. So they lift in the resulting free kick. Uh, we manage to clear it away. I'm on the end of that. Try to flick it forward to Angel. He can't quite reach it. Uh, and they play it out for a throw into us. Here, Hani has the ball, lifts it forward. You can see me out wide. I pressure him, trying to give him as little time as possible. They still managed to do quite well, play out of the situation, maybe a bit too easily. Yeah, and then they try a long shot, which goes wide. Short throw, I block that pass, and I try to block the cross if I can make it down in time. But we win the ball back eventually, but then we lose it again. And they are on the counter, and we win it back again. And we clear it away from danger. Win it back, yes, and does well to win it back. And here you can see in this situation, I really should. I'm way too high up on this one. Uh, you can see that Yasin's intention is to play me out wide, but for that to happen, I need to drop down. Uh, so I'm like where our bench is, uh, so they can play me in. I noticed this way too late. Uh, I drop out wide, but I don't drop down, so he can't reach me but he's a smart player, he solves the situation, going out on the other side instead, and does well to feed Albin out wide, and we can have a good attack. Okay, so in this next play, you can see that I am positioned, Yasin wins the ball, he has one guy on him, and I have a guy on me, just, uh, just behind me. So as soon as I see that that guy steps out, the guy who is behind me, I make the run in behind, Justin tries to play me, but uh, it's blocked for a throw-in. You can see the next play. I try to read him. I do well. I step in front of him so that he can continue his run down the line. They win it back. There's a bit of like back and forth here. Eventually, we can play out here. And in this situation, you can see that I get the ball, and there's one, two, three three players around me, so I really need to play out of here. Uh, and you, if you look even closer, you can see that those three, then there's two more uh, in front of them. So if I manage to get this ball to Albin, we can potentially have a really dangerous counterattack. So I play a good ball to him, 
and he does well to dribble out of the situation and then the audible player takes a tactical foul does well in that situation we would have been four on four and uh, on a really dangerous counter attack as i said so here honey plays me out wide i try to give it to him back it's a bit too much on that pass he tries to fight and win it back he does well the linesman actually shows a corner but the the main referee decides that it's a goal kick instead so we got nothing there so next play is a long throw in i can't quite reach it with with the header and you can see the ball bounces around again there was a lot of this during this game ball uh, changing teams back and forth they try to head it forward but eventually you can see i'm out wide i get it here from albin it's a bit bouncy i get it down and I see now he plans himself, the defender is planning himself. So now I know I got the, the advantage, so I take him on. I make a step over, quick step over to the inside and then I go on the outside, skips past him. And then I try to put the cross in and I win a corner for us. So that was a pretty positive play, best play of the game so far for me. Where I can really use, use my strength, my speed and acceleration to get past the opponent and win corners and cross the ball and get shots off. That's that's my strength. Uh, so this was a resulting corner where Nissi takes it and as you can see Marvin does really well to hit the volley directly into the roof of the net and we are just one goal behind now. Now this is straight from the, the audible kickoff. They clear it forward. Nissi heads it, Albin heads it, Angel tries to switch it over to me. I get first to the ball, but I make a bad touch into the defender and they can win the ball and go on their counter attack, but uh, he plays a bad pass, so we get a throw in instead. In this next play, you can see we clear the ball and the ball comes up in the middle of the park. Uh, and in this play, as you can see, I stress way too much. I think that the defender is marking me is on my back, but as you can see, he's decided to drop off instead. So here I can I can actually bring the ball down, turn and, and even play it forward. But I'm not aware of this, so I try to just clear it and get the ball forward towards our strikers. Uh, as you can see, I make a really bad touch as well. Uh, you can see the ball goes out wide instead, but I do well to, to recover and counter press. And then Hani plays me the ball, I'm out wide, I turn, make a great touch to open up my body and see the whole field. I can see Angel is making a run in front, so I try to be direct uh, as they're a bit out of position as we just won the ball. I try to, to find him, but the pass is a bit overhead and he can't reach him quite. Hallid heads the ball and then Nissi gets it, he will lay it off to Hani. And Hani will try to ship me, ship the ball to me, it's a bit short. So I recover at full speed, manage to get back and force them to play the ball backwards, but then we can't quite get there in time so they can switch the play over to the other side and now they will just they will just mask for time down here at the, at the corner flag. Uh, next one, Hanu wins the ball great, ball goes forward, they try to clear it, it's a bad clearance but it just goes past me and here you can see I step in front of the audible player so he can reach the ball because I see Hani is coming uh, towards uh, towards the ball so I shield the I shield the defender off for him so he can go past me and he does yeah we win the free kick from this situation important there to just do what you can I, I couldn't quite reach the ball in the first one so I just shielded it for Hani who I saw come with with pace and this was probably the highlight of the game for me and there's 30 seconds left on the clock. I drop down really deep here. I take a touch and then with my left foot, which is my weak foot, I play a fantastic ball over to Angel, who so nearly could get the equalizer with, with 20 seconds to go. So that was a real bummer. Um, would have been great to, to start off my professional career with, with an assist and quite a great assist uh, at that. I mean, you miss chances and you, you score chances. So this time it, was, it just wasn't meant to be, but I did the right thing. I was di direct, I found him when he made the run. Uh, but yeah, we couldn't quite do it there. So from the resulting goal kick, the goalkeeper hits it long, we win it. I tried to, to 
flick it on forward, but can't quite do it. We eventually we get a throw in here on the halfway line. He gives it to me. I try to throw long. There's a bit of stress here. The game is almost over, and there it is over. So, uh, well, that was my professional debut. Unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't quite come back. Uh, almost, as you saw in the end there. Obviously, there were some positive takeaways, like the 1v1 situation where I managed to get the corner, uh, which we eventually scored off, uh, and then I created that chance for Angel uh, with, the, with the long ball in the end. Obviously, there were a few areas of improvement as well. As you can see, there were multiple occasions where I had my back to goal, and I didn't quite know what was around me. Uh, so that is just an awareness thing, like that could have led to maybe a few, few more opportunities for us. Okay guys, that was it for this analysis video and I'll see you in the next one.